Moving on to the fifth power of economic thinking. If the price of one product goes up, let's say it's the most popular soft drink, as the price of that product goes up, nothing happens to the demand for that product. But as you can tell, the quantity demanded has gone down. Fewer people buy it. As fewer people buy this product, then they demand the substitute products. The demand for the substitute products then will increase, driving their price up and their quantity also up. Let's say, though, that the price of the most popular soft drink goes down. As the price goes down for that, do you notice the quantity demanded goes up? More people buy the most popular soft drink. This will then decrease the demand for the substitute soft drinks, causing it to shift to the left, driving the price of those drinks down and the quantity of those drinks down. Number six, price of related products complements. Products complement each other. For instance, peanut butter and jelly complement each other. As the price of peanut butter rises, the quantity demanded goes down. Fewer people buy peanut butter. As fewer people buy peanut butter, then they demand less jelly. As they demand less jelly, demand for jelly decreases, driving the price down and the quantity down. As the price of peanut butter goes down, the quantity demanded of peanut butter goes up. More people will buy peanut butter at the lower price. As more people buy peanut butter, then the demand for jelly is going to increase, causing the curve to shift to the right, raising the price and also increasing the quantity. Number seven, expected future prices by consumers. If people expect the prices to go up in the future, when do they want to buy? They want to buy now. This causes demand to increase. As demand increases, this drives up the price and drives up the quantity. So what drives up the price is people's expectations about the future. If people think that prices are going to go down in the future, then they don't want to buy the product now. They want to buy it later. So demand decreases now driving that price down and driving the quantity down. If people expect their future incomes to go up, then what they'll do is they'll buy now. They might even buy on credit because they know they'll have more money to pay it off. And so this will increase demand. As demand increases, this drives the price up and the quantity up. If people think they're going to lose their jobs and their future income is going to go down, then they, the demand for goods and services is going to decrease, driving the price down and the quantity down. Make sure you take your time and memorize the eight determinants of demand and how they shift the demand curve, which changes the price and changes the quantity for the product.